it would be nice if, if someone I, I mentioned to this this last interview, Ian, uh, if you the best thing that could happen to me here in America is not to mm. get a book published by just a, a publisher because most of them get obscure. It would be to have someone who's a filmmaker come and do a documentary film on me. And one idea, I don't know if you've ever seen it. I did an, a hundred minute video 20 years ago of me writing a great sonnet. Yeah, I've seen it. Yeah, yeah. What I would, what I would like to do is when, when I, you when you had uh, when you had yeah, a lot of hair, right? Yeah. When when I I would uh, uh, love it if at some point if there was a young filmmaker who wanted to do a do not only just a documentary, but I'd like to see a, a film of me writing a play, say a, a mm. thirty thousand word play, which might take oh 15, 20 hours. Have have the, the camera on me, have another camera that's able to record what I'm typing, and then take that 15 or 20 minutes, or maybe it would be double that because of the two, two cameras, and, and have that raw footage, make a two or three hour film documentary of, of me writing it, but then also put online to do it. Because that 100 minutes there, I would say, and is probably one of the top 10 or 20 most important pieces of video that's ever been and i'm not trying to brag in it but but where else are you going to see someone who's an artist writing creating it right there explaining why and sometimes i throw away a word or, or this not i explain why it works or why it doesn't work and that was in real time 100 minutes uh mm. and that where else are you seeing the act of creation as it's going this isn't yeah. this isn't jackson pollock just dripping paint all over the this is explaining why this word works, why that <laughs> metaphor works. And it would be great to do that in a longer thing like a play. Uh, and that's yeah. why I think even more so than getting published, I would I would really love if anyone mm. watched this video, if you if you like Cosmoetic or you think Cosmoetic is good, find some filmmaker. It doesn't, it doesn't have to be an American. It could be a Japanese kid who, who, who mm. is a fan of Cosmoetic. Come to America. I'll, I'll write a play for you. And, and put that on and then then you can do the, the typical documentary about the website or me or, or whatnot but and and that that's that's that would that would be something that i think would if it went to can film festival or the venice film festival or a festival in india would be something that could be something that takes off i'm not gonna i'm not gonna i'm not looking to get rich and at, at my age 55 i've got 20 or 30 years uh it, I, I, it would mm. be nice to be able to just have a little extra money that I didn't have to work so hard because there are more than more so than what I've written. I, I regret the stuff that I haven't been able to write because I haven't had the time because I have to do this stupid shit because this this culture that we live in, both America and world, does not value art. I said this before. If you think back a thousand years ago, you can probably think of works of art that remain. Think of who's the mo the richest. Who was the richest person in Bulgaria a thousand years ago? It doesn't fucking matter. Who was who was the most important politician in some obscure Chinese province eight hundred years ago? What does it matter? It doesn't matter. But and we but pe people do the same mistake over and over again. They will they will ignore the great people, whether they're artists or scientists or leaders in some field in their own time. And they'll always go back and say, it, it's like, the old, if only we had another Albert Einstein in physics, if only we had another Vermeer in painting, if only we had another Mozart or Beethoven. But how about, I, I'll guarantee you, it's gonna be rare, but there probably are a few dozen people now alive that like me are, are barely known. But in 500 years, they're gonna be saying, uh, you know, this person, that person, Dan Schneider and whatnot, why were they ignored? Uh, but we keep doing the same stupid shit because we're navel gazers. We don't care about, when I say we, I mean collectively, humanity. We don't care about the important things 